Welcome back everyone to another Brian's Diecast Thailand. And today we're working with these two. They are both Lotus Europas. The white one is a Tomica and the other one is a Matchbox. As we can see going around, lots of paint missing everywhere. Wheels and tyres look real scruffy. Tow itch on the matchbox one is broken off, which I don't think a car like this should have a tow itch on anyway. And well, the windscreens look okay, there don't look to be any broken or any damage anywhere on both of them. So let's get them off the turntable and let's have a closer look. So I'll catch you then. Okay, let's have a look what we've got. Let's start with the matchbox one. Uh, as you can see, matchbox series number five, Lotus Europa, made in England, 1969, Lesney Products Co Limited. Super fast and the pen number. As you can see, there's two rivet posts at the back and then a slot at the front. So that's the matchbox one. This one, you can see that. There's a Tomica number F25, 1977 Tommy, number F25, scale 159. Lotus Europa Special, made in Japan. One rivet post at the front and then the slot at the back. Okay, we'll get these drilled out and get back to you. Catch you then then. Okay, let's have a look what we've got. Bore's drilled the two little posts out at the back. Uh, the door's open in this. So let's get it let's get it open. And let's have a look what we've got. So just drill out only what you need to. There's the base. Typical <coughs> excuse me, typical super fast suspension. The interior with a toe edge. That should just come out. I think it's all coming out. Sorry to be off camera. Out comes the interior. Which is very, very grubby, as you can see. And the window section. Usually they'll come straight out. Sometimes you have to open the doors like that. So there's the window section. Bit scuffed up. But there doesn't appear to be any cracks, so that's a bonus. So clean up and the interior, clean up the window section. We'll take these wheels out. It shouldn't be a problem getting these out. It's just a matter of being careful. Might do that off camera so I don't break them. So there's two rivets there holding this plastic suspension on. So I may drill them out so that I can put clean all this up. Okay, that's that one. Well, now this one, the Tomika. One rivet at the front, which I've already drilled out. Only just drill enough that you need. Pop she goes. Oop, everything's come out. The engine's come out, which is there. That just fits onto a. Let me just show you here the engine. It fits onto a, a tab there. These wheels will come off quite easy. 
wheels off. Wheels off. That all can go in caustic soda. As you can see, it was painted gold. So there's caustic soda, boiling water. <coughs> right, let's get this interior out. There's the engine. This has got a little lift up back section, bonnet, boot, whatever you call it. There's the interior, pretty grubby, same as the other one. Windscreen section, I think that should just pop out. Yep, I can hear it popping. <coughs> it is kind of like hooked over this little plate thing there, so there she goes. Easy peasy. Okay, caustic soda boiling water, caustic soda boiling water, and all the rest of the parts to be cleaned up. So, I'll get these out off camera, so I don't, I don't want to break them. And then when that's done, that metal base can go in caustic soda as well. I like to do that because it cleans them all up. So, Oh, also this, the Tomica, the white one, it had, if I can just shoot it right on the back there, just behind the, the side window, it had two little Union Jacks, which I've very carefully taken off. Uh, they're in there. So hopefully I can get them back at the end. Okay, I'll carry on and get back to you. See you later. Okay, here's where we're up to. Painted up the uh, the Matchbox one in black. Painted up the Tomika one in white. Done some detailing on the lights, etc. A little bit of detailing on the engine, not too much. Cleaned up the window sections. Painted the base like a goldy colour on the Tomika. Bit of detail on the interior, same as on the matchbox one, steering wheel, dashboard. Painted up the base on this one again. Painted it silver. It, it was unpainted before, so I left that plastic on and just spread it all up. Took the wheels off, spread it all up. Cleaned up the windscreen on this one. So Let's get them put together, get them on the roundabout, and let's have a look what we've ended up with. Catch you then. Okay, this is what we started off with. Pretty scuffed, lots of paint missing. Very scruffy looking. So let's have a look what we ended up with. So here's what we've ended up with. What did we do? Well, we stripped all the old paint off, caustic soda boiling water, primer undercoat, painted the matchbox one in black, painted the Tomeka one in white, a um, little bit of detailing on the front headlights on the white one and silver, but it's hard to see, side marker lights, back brake lights, um, a little bit of detail on the inside, not too much. Now the white one should have had two Union Jacks on it that I kept in this little container. And, well, I lost one. Don't ask me where it went. I've looked everywhere for it, couldn't find it. Oh well, if I do find it, I'll put it on, but they're meant to go just on the, on the side here. So if I do find it, I'll put them on, but vanished. Okay, leave us a comment, let me know what you think. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, new and old. Thanks for watching. Leave us a comment, and I'll catch you next time. So, bye for now.